Two units that we're looking at today are small, compact, uh, live video switching units is what I would use them for. Other people may be using them for live streaming. They'll just bring, uh, you'll plug it into your computer and it'll just come in uh, as another source, as another camera. So that's the other, other use for that. But I'm primarily gonna be talking about using it for a live event video switch, a uh, slightly more value priced one than some of the more expensive Roland's and other video switches like that. So a while back, we looked at this guy, which is uh, the Life Pro L1 little video mixer. And they recently released the L2 Plus. It has a bigger view screen and we're gonna have a look at the two side-by-side -side comparison. We're gonna unbox them, compare them side-by-side. -side. There we have the two boxes and you can see they're very, very similar size. The boxes are basically identical size. However, the L2, it's very hard to see. Sorry, the, the yeah, L2 Plus, just slightly larger. So let's open up these guys and see what we see. Okay. Get rid of some of the packing material right here. And this one should be uh, fairly familiar. This is the original Live Pro L1. You'll see it has the little small display screen. And then we're going to pull out the new guy, which is the uh, L2 Plus. And straight away, you're going to see that this screen was under, under two inches. And this is the screen right here. So actually, they measured it diagonal at 5.5. So that's 5.5 inches. Uh, the actual width on this guy is like four and a half and this is a touch screen so let's just compare these two uh, side by side and then we'll finish taking the rest of the stuff out of the boxes first thing you'll notice they're basically the same size they have the same buttons they have input one two three and four one two three and four um, the sw and the menu switches are identical we have a slider to go between the various inputs uh, this guy only has the one dial i'm guessing right now that's because this is a touch screen and then then this one does have the two dials so let's flip it up this way and you're gonna see i'm gonna hold these as close as i can the form factor on these guys is about the same size you'll see there are some extra air vents right here but we do have inputs one two three four for the hdmi and then your hdmi output and uh, your power source. Now with the power sources, if, if you have both, the same power adapter will fit in both, but the original one is a 1.5 amp and I believe the new one is a two amp. So there is a difference there. You gotta make sure you keep the right adapters. And just putting it up vertical right here, you're gonna notice one other thing if we're looking at the back, the little rubber feet on the guy, these feet are a little bit higher so it does stand uh, a little bit higher when you, you have it on the flat surface. And if we flip it to the back, you're gonna see that's probably, or is because of the little fan. So this didn't have like an extraction fan on the original model. Um, on the new model, it does have that little fan to help the unit stay a little bit cooler. Uh, if you do have this maybe on a sliding rack tray, uh, that little bit extra height, you're gonna make sure that that will still work for you. And let's just flip it back this way. Now we're going to go vertical. And then again, exactly the same. We have the LAN port. We have the USB. This if, if you're going to be using it for live streaming. Um, let me just do it this way. That's going to be if you're going to use it for live streaming. Um, typically, I use these as uh, a cheaper version of a um, event switcher. So <clears throat> won't necessarily use those. And then you've got your audio in and your audio out ports identical on both of them right there and now we're going to go to this end um, a new feature right there you still have the screw mount so that's just so you can mount it on the side of something maybe you've got a, a camera that you're doing a live camera with and you you can get an adapter to hold it there but the thing that this does add is the on off switch which was not a feature of the original one so now we do have an on off switch 
it's good to have an on off switch so you if you're not using it you can turn it off um just when you're, you're setting up all your equipment you're turning it all back on you one extra place that you do need to check is my mixer turned on these are basically the same size unit it, i feel i did look at the specs it looks like the the video that comes out of these should basically be identical but you're getting a bigger screen so somebody like me who is not a spring chicken anymore my eyesight's failing this little display when it's split into four which we'll see in a second when we plug it in it's kind of hard to see um this display i hope it's going to be a lot better it is a lot bigger um quickly back to the uh where the power goes in the great thing about both of these units is you push the power in and then this is threaded and threaded means you're not like accidentally going to be able to yank that out so that's a really good feature other difference between these these two units so far that i've seen is there is a fairly large uh price difference the original unit the l1 was is 299 currently and the l2 plus is uh 539 i believe let me look at that really quickly correct the the price for the um, new unit is 539 so it is significantly more so let's finish uh, unpacking the boxes uh, get the power plugged in and we'll move on from there okay we'll slide these two down uh, both of them come with their little user manuals it's still nice to see a user manual come with a device so many things are now go to a website but these do actually have manuals about the same size 35 ish pages um, typical manual you go to the back you're going to get the specifications our video resolutions are the same they've added another line for the the streaming but the original one could stream as well so that's fine um, and then yeah here we have the the power difference we have uh, 1.5 amp on the original and uh, the second one the input voltage is a 2 amp pull these guys out there we have our two usb cables we'll leave those in there right now they are usb 3 of course if you're trying to do live streaming you do want to be using the fastest connection possible with the original live pro i use it in live live production it did have that very small screen uh, one thing that i found is i could actually plug in a laptop download the software and give myself a bigger preview on the laptop monitor which for me was really useful um you don't always have a laptop with you that's kind of one of the reasons you you may be using a video switcher so not always helpful but i found that that easy and that can get be got ugh, that can be downloaded from the uh free world website all right so this is the the live pro one adapter it does come with a different couple of different plugs i've got the one for the usa right here so here we go if i want to put the the power adapter in i put it into the end right there and I just slide it in, clicks into place. And so I don't get them mixed up right here. There we go, and we can screw that in. Oh, slightly, slightly different design. Slightly different design on the power adapter. We'll go back to the other one. So that is not for the United States. We'll get rid of that one. And have a look at this guy all right so with this one there's a little catch right here so you're gonna put it in at that angle and then twist it we'll get rid of this box same thing we're gonna push it in do, 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 do. perfect so something i just thought of and picked up on we'll often uh with the l1 we would put velcro the really strong velcro on here and attach it to a, a tray in a rack or one of the sliding trays in a rack with the uh, l2 plus because of the little fan area right here i'm not sure that's going to work we don't want to put velcro over that it's not going to let it breathe properly so um, we're gonna have to come up with a different way of attaching that so that's just a little side note um, if you're looking to physically attach it somewhere not using the screw that may be a consideration for you so i have both of the devices plugged in that's the live pro one and then the live pro uh l2 plus plugged in i've actually switched the live pro 2 
uh, power switch on. So now I have them attached the same power strip. I'm going to boot them up and you're going to be able to see the boot up sequence and see which one starts just that little bit quicker. I'm switching it now. I just switched that on. You can see we get the splash screen there first on the uh, Life Pro 1. And we're so Live Pro 1 is up and we're still talking. So it's a, a couple of seconds difference right there. Um, the original does boot up just slightly faster. Really not noticeable. It's not going to cause a huge issue. One thing that um, I do notice, however, is on the Live Pro 2, there is a little bit more noise associated with it. It does have that fan on the back. So you may be able to hear that there's a little bit of noise for it for an outdoor movie. I'm we're not going to notice that um, when you've got blowers and stuff like that going. However, if you are live streaming and you happen to have that near the microphone, your microphone could possibly pick that up. So just um, it's worth thinking about. So let's have a look at a quick bit of the functionality of these two devices. Whatever's red is what is currently playing. So on our Live Pro. Um, L1 right here. Right now, the video I have selected is what will be going out on my main cable right here. And over here right now, my main source selected is uh, four. That's the source that's playing, which is in this monitor. That is what's going out on this cable right here. So if I wanted to select or have my, my preview, my next source up, which you can actually also see right here, move over to the live video. I can just use the switcher like that and slide it straight straight over. Um, on this guy, say, let's just do a quick switch there. Right now, my, my uh, source would be HDMI 4. Whatever's yellow is going to be my next source up. So I want this to be my next source. I'm going to select one as I slide it over. If it's red, that is your live source. So I hope that that's pretty simple right there. So now I'm actually going to start playing this video. If we look right here on the uh, L2 Plus, you do have audio levels uh, displayed on screen, which is absolutely awesome. I love that feature. If I flip that over, that would then be going to my projector or my monitor or whatever I'm showing. So both these devices, um, they are HTC compliant. So that means if you have type of protected content, say a Blu-ray player connected or something similar to that, they will work for you. Final thoughts on, on the new L2 Plus. Having that little bit larger display when you're doing an event and maybe you want to bring up a laptop and make sure that laptop um, that laptop screen is working and go through some PowerPoints. The screen is just about big enough to allow you to do that. On the uh, Life Pro L1, that small little screen, you could kind of tell, okay, the laptop's connected, but you can't really cycle through slides and things like that. So it's more of a, a, a rough idea of what's going on. Whereas the, the L2 Plus, it's a bigger screen. You can see some of that. You can see all of the inputs coming up. I, the biggest difference really is you've got the screen size, you've got the price. So right here, $299, right here, $539. That's a big jump. If you're, if you're setting out a ton of equipment, you can nearly get two of these for the price of one of these. However, this is going to be a little bit easier for most people um, to use and it is touch sensitive. You can use the buttons, but you can also select things on the screen itself, which is really, really nice. Uh, I'm going to just mention this one more time. I like to Velcro these down onto a tray with the fan there. I'm not going to be able to do that in the same way. So. Uh, I haven't come up with my solution for the L2 Plus yet on how I'm going to do that. Um, I may end up just using this as a loose little mixer 
when we when we need to add it to one of our smaller boxes so i'm, I'm still debating between the two um the light pro one has been wonderful the light pro 2 that that screen is it's bigger it's nicer to see is that screen another uh, 239 dollars difference is that screen worth that much to you so that's just something you have to uh, take into consideration it is not completely silent for an outdoor movie you're really not going to hear that little thing however if you're using it as a live streaming device and you have it near your mic you may be hearing that so if you're doing it for live streaming that may be a consideration i would just make sure it's moved away from the mic so i hope that helps if you do have any questions put them in the comments below this is a new device to me um so far i'm i'm really liking it my issues i got to work out how to attach it to a tray and uh if if that cost difference is really worth it but i'm definitely going to keep this device and and have the both of them you know live with it for for a little bit longer so if you have any questions just pop them in the comments below like subscribe give us some love um thanks a lot cheers bye